engaged in uh, rehabilitation work for the last so many years. We've had four days of uh, very hard work, very straightforward language, but a very soft voice. Um, the parties have demonstrated a positive, pragmatic, and conciliatory approach in discussing a wide range of issues. And all ethnic communities so that their needs and aspirations are considered. And uh, I would say the 200 years of sentence is rather ridiculous. And uh, furthermore, I wish to say that uh, it is unfair on the part of the government of Sri Lanka, particularly the judicial system, to dig into the events of the past, particularly the military operations undertaken by the LTT. As far as uh, we are concerned, both the parties have involved in military operations which can be characterized as acts of war, not criminal offenses uh, as such. So we will request the government of Sri Lanka, particularly the judicial system, not to take up these cases in future, because we will also, if we are compelled, to take up such cases in our courts of law and pass as very, very long sentences, maybe 2,000 years or something like that. ...by a secretariat to be located at the government's agent's office in... Uh, you asked, well, what, what was it that kept us together uh, during uh, these three days? I would say that it was a firm commitment to the objectives of the peace process. Uh, whatever snags or impediments may arise, we were clearly determined to stay on course. And uh, that was apparent uh, from the manner in which we handled the discussions. Government representative will include Mr. M. G. G. Puri, Mr. M. I. M. Since we have committed to enter the political mainstream, which is of course a democratic political mainstream, we have to uh, accept and assimilate other political groups and allow them free exercise <coughs> uh, in the electoral processes. So we will definitely allow other political parties and groups to participate in the democratic politics in the North and East. By a secretariat to be located at the government's... Secondly, your question with regard to the demobilization of child soldiers, we wish to emphasize that uh, we do not recruit any underage persons following the, following the conventions of the United Nations requesting all uh, countries and uh, non-state actors not to recruit uh, uh, children below the age of 18. And we have been releasing quite a large number of young persons, underage uh, persons, uh, and we have handed them over to their parents. Straight away, enter into a process of engaging ourselves with the core issues. It doesn't mean that we are going to abandon the idea of an interim setup, but if we feel that an interim setup is crucial, then we will definitely look into that framework.